Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. Since starting in 2019, the United States has adopted severe restrictive measures against Huawei, and almost all products related to American technology have been restricted. Google Android operating system, Kirin chips manufactured by TSMC, radio frequency chips, etc. Without the support of American technology, Huawei embarked on the path of comprehensive self-research. The more restrictive the United States is, the stronger Huawei's determination to conduct self-research is. Currently, more technologies are included in Huawei's self-research goals, such as CMOS image sensors. After Sony cut off supply, Huawei immediately announced new technologies, and foreign media said the matter was getting serious. Huawei's self-developed alternative Huawei is a representative Chinese high-tech enterprise. In the past, China has always said that it is short of cores and souls, which means that it has certain shortcomings in the fields of chips and operating systems. However, Huawei's existence has almost filled the shortcomings. Huawei's self-developed Kirin chip is one of the strongest mobile SoC processors in the industry, and its self-developed Hongmeng operating system also has strong development potential, giving domestic manufacturers broad business prospects. The United States is clearly aware of how powerful Huawei's scientific research capabilities are. If Huawei continues to develop, the leading position of American companies may one day be broken. Therefore, the United States adopted unconventional competition methods to restrict Huawei's use of American technology. Huawei is originally a loyal user of American technology. If it were not for restrictions, Huawei would be able to contribute huge revenue and profits to American companies every year, achieving mutual benefit. Being forced to the edge, Huawei launched a comprehensive debutification development process, and various self-researched alternative results followed one after another. For example, Hongmeng replaced Android, Kunlun Glass replaced Corning Gorilla Glass, and MateERP replaced Oracle's ERP system. There are many similar alternative cases. The United States did not allow Huawei to use their technology, so Huawei developed its own technology. Huawei's R&D investment reaches new highs each year. This money is not spent in vain, but is actually transformed into scientific research results. But that's not enough. Huawei is also going to develop another major CMOS image sensor core in-house. Huawei CMOS is coming. The famous camera brand Leica was once a partner of Huawei's imaging system. After the two parties terminated the cooperation, Huawei launched its self-developed Xmage imaging technology to create its own imaging brand. Huawei has a deep accumulation in mobile phone imaging, but its CMOS image sensors have always used Sony chips. Sony also uses American technology. According to rules, Sony cannot provide image sensors to Huawei. Although Sony obtained the opportunity to license the shipment, this also made Huawei realize the importance of having the core technology in its own hands. According to the news, after Sony cut off supply, Huawei immediately announced new technologies and would invest in self-research of CMOS image sensors. The entire process from wafer to chip will be involved, and even some process innovations will be achieved. This matter is of great significance to Huawei. 
Self-developed CMOS image sensors will reduce dependence on the supply chain, especially for suppliers like Sony. Through independent research and development and production, Huawei can better control the technology and production process and reduce uncertainty in the supply chain. Moreover, self-developed CMOS image sensors will provide Huawei with more room for innovation. Huawei can customize and optimize the sensor based on its own needs and technical strength to provide higher image quality and performance. In the domestic industrial chain, Huawei's self-developed CMOS image sensors will also drive the industrial progress of related manufacturers and promote the vigorous development of the upstream and downstream supply chains. At present, the news about Huawei's self-developed CMOS image sensor is still in the breaking stage. However, since Huawei has manufactured the Kirin 9000S chip in China, Huawei's mastery of self-developed technology will definitely not let CMOS image sensors become a factor affecting future development. As for when we can see Huawei launch its self-developed CMOS image sensor, we need to wait and see. The United States is still paying close attention to Huawei's technological development. U.S. Commerce Secretary Raimondo has said that if Huawei continues to invest in high-tech research and development, it will adopt more stringent restrictive measures. Raimondo did not want to see the rise of Chinese technologies such as Huawei, so he took restrictive actions using American technology. But I don't know what else the United States can do after Huawei gets rid of American technology. From operating systems to chips, to mobile phone glass and CMOS image sensors to be launched in the future, Huawei has developed everything it can in-house and replaced everything it can. Under such a background, Foreign suppliers who cooperate with the United States and participate in cutting off supplies are undoubtedly seeking death and creating a strong opponent for themselves. Google is the best example. Back in 2019, Google cut off GMS services to Huawei and stopped Huawei from updating subsequent versions of the Android system. The outside world thought that Huawei's mobile phone business was coming to an end. As a result, Huawei also launched Hongmeng System 1.0 in 2019. Now Huawei has upgraded Hongmeng to version 4.0 and is preparing to launch the layout of native applications. We cannot reach this point without the supervision of the United States. If Google hadn't cut off supply, Huawei might still be using Android. Foreign media, the matter is getting serious. Huawei is determined to conduct self-research and will replace more constrained technologies. Whatever the United States restricts, Huawei will develop on its own. Perhaps it cannot fully replace it now. It still needs American PC side processors, Google Android application compatibility, etc. But everything has just begun. Huawei has achieved so many self-research results within four years. I believe that in the next 10 or 20 years, Huawei will find more self-research alternatives and find its own path to success. Avenue